وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد This inshallah ta'ala is uh, our seventh uh, episode but our sixth uh, lesson inshallah ta'ala In this lesson بإذن الله الكريم I will be covering بإذن الله الكريم Fasting of the child a child's fasting, Somul Atfal. Inshallah ta'ala, I hope to cover five points in this bi'idnillahi al kareem The first point that I want to cover is what is the ruling uh, for a child to fast uh, that hasn't reached age of puberty? What is the ruling? Ma hukmu siyam ladhi lam yablugh. What we say is that the child who hasn't reached puberty, fasting is not obligatory on him or it's not obligatory on her. The child doesn't have to fast. The fasting is obligatory on the individual who reaches the age of puberty. The mukallaf is the one who is aqil and baligh. It is the individual who reaches age of puberty. The child is not mukallaf. He hasn't reached age of puberty. So we say لا يجب الصوم على الصبي ولكن له أجر إذا صام. It is not obligatory for that child to fast, but if he chooses to fast and he wants to fast, or the parents they make him fast, then the child gets the reward, but it's not obligatory on him. Point number two, inshallah ta'ala, that I want to cover today. متى يؤمر الصبي بالصيام؟ when is the child commanded to fast? When is he made to fast, the child? The child is commanded to fast if he reaches the age of seven so he can train himself and he can cultivate himself upon fasting. So he can get used to it. So when he is seven, he is told to fast and the parents, they tell the child to fast. The reason for that is So he can train himself and prepare himself from when fasting becomes obligatory on him. So it's a, uh, a preparation for him to get used to it. Third point, inshallah ta'ala. When does it actually become obligatory on him? Mata يَجِبُ الصِّيَامُ عَلَى الصَّغِيرِ the fasting becomes obligatory on the uh, child uh, when he reaches puberty. That's when it becomes obligatory. The fasting becomes obligatory on the child once he or she reaches the age of puberty. Point number four. What are the signs of puberty? What are what are the signs for the parent or even the child himself to know that he or she has reached age of puberty? Alamatul Bulughi Arbaatun. The signs of puberty are four. Three are shared by the girl and the boy. And the fourth and the final one that I'm going to mention is unique to the girl. The first one is Bulughu Tamami Khamsata Ashara Sarah. The first one is that the child, girl or boy, reaches the age of 15. So the child reaches 15. When the child reaches 15, it's, it's puberty. When do we say that that's puberty? It is when all the other signs are not present. So the child hasn't had any other sign of puberty. He or she has reached the age of 15. That is now puberty. Whether the other signs have come or not, the fact that the child has reached 15 is puberty. Remember, if the other signs happen at the age of 10 or 11 or 12, that's puberty. You don't wait for the age of 15. Many people fall into that mistake. The girl's on her menstruation 
And they say, no, but she's not 15 yet. And she's got the sign of puberty already present. Menstruation is a sign of puberty, which we're going to mention, inshallah. You don't have to wait for the age of 15, my beloved brothers and sisters. 15 is only used, or we only say 15, is that when puberty of the other signs are not there. Then and only then does 15 become a sign of puberty. So the second, inshallah ta'ala, is the puberty hair. Yani the girl or boy has hair uh, between the two legs, the armpits. Those are signs of puberty. The third is inzalul mani bihtilamin aw ghayri. They have many semen that comes from the child, maybe a wet dream, or anything other than that. This is a sign of puberty. The final and last one is an tahibal fatatu. That the girl, she sees menstruation. She has her menstruation. Her monthly blood happens to her. This is a sign of puberty. These four are alamatul bulu, the signs of puberty. Any one of them is enough for her to reach age of puberty. Any one of them is enough for her to reach the age of puberty. The last and final point, inshallah ta'ala, which is the fifth, that I want to, inshallah ta'ala, cover in this class is, كَيْفَ كَانَ هَدْيُ الصَّحَابَةِ فِي صَوْمِ أَوْلَادِهِمْ What was the guidance and what way were the uh, companions of the Prophet sallallahu uh, alayhi in regards to their children? How were the uh, Sahaba when it came to their children? How were they like? What we say is, كَانَ الصَّحَابَةُ يَأْمُرُونَ أَوْلَادَهُمْ بِالصَّوْمِ They used to command their children to fast. فَإِذَا قَالَ الصَّبِيُّ رِيدُ الطَّعَامًا If the child said, Daddy, Mommy, I want to eat, I'm hungry. كَانُوا يُعْطُونَهُ مَا يَلْعَبُ بِهِ They would give him something to play with. حَتَّى تَغْرُبَ الشَّمْسُ Until the sun sets. That's how the Sahabas were. They used to give the child uh, something to play with. To distract him. So he doesn't focus on the hunger. But they wouldn't give him food. They wanted to train their children. Again, this is at the age of seven. That's so on the eight, at the age of seven. They will train their children to fast. Uh, anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are free from it. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running, make sure you head over to amauathome.com.